the bells when the law gone. And the boys will leash hell when the war's on. Bloodthirsty when the dogs put their paws on. You gon' tell the medic, put a little bit of gauze on. Put them on the battlefield, is where they click. Hey, hey, welcome to your first Monday. So here's the thing. We're gonna start out our first Monday with all of my bridal secrets. Most of your wedding, in most of your dresses, guess what people are gonna be looking at? Yeah, maybe your face for a little bit. But for the most part, they're looking here and they're looking here. They're looking at your back. You walk down the aisle, they're looking at your back. You're standing at the altar, they're looking at your back. You walk back down the aisle, you have your first dance. You stand up to do your kisses every time the glass tinks. They're looking at your back. Did you think about working out your back? Probably not. That's why I'm here. So here's the thing. This can be for a bride. This can be for a bridesmaid. You're all wearing dresses. Mother of the bride, get on in here. Everybody's eyes are on you. So let's I make will sure show that you three work. different ways to do this exercise. So that if you're just a beginner and you need something a little bit less impact, we will start there. Then I will show you the regular exercise that I want you to be able to work to. And then if you can get to there and that's too easy, I'm going to give you a progression that's going to be even harder and that's where I want you to be at. Pay attention. We're going to go through these. If you have questions, post them in the comments and we'll take a look at them. Good luck, okay. guys. I'm keeping you guys down low. I'm going to go stand up. I'm going to show you what we're doing. This is step one. So this is if you're a beginner and you're just kind of coming into this and you're like, I don't know if I can do it. You can do it, but this is where I want you to start, okay? What you're gonna do, you're gonna stand up tall like this and you're gonna do what's called an inchworm. An inchworm means that you bend down and you walk your hands out into a plank. A plank just means that your feet are together back here and you are nice and straight, your arms are nice and straight and you're right here. You're gonna walk it back, okay? That is an inchworm. You're gonna come back down, walk it out, Stop and plank and walk it back. You guys, that's step one. Once you hit step one, I want you to add a piece into that, okay? I want you to do your inchworm. Take it down, walk it out. And when you get to here, I want you to do a push-up. If you need to drop to your knees to do your push-up, absolutely feel free. If you can keep your legs up and do your push-up, I want you to do that, okay? So that's your step one. That's your beginners. Then you're gonna crawl back up, do your inchworm push-up, and go back. Do five of those a day, you guys. That's it. Not Nothing bad, nothing crazy. All right, moving five. on. Here is the actual exercise that I want you to do. So if, we, if you started at the beginner, I want you to work into this next one because this is where I want you to be at to really work those and back you're gonna muscles. You're going to go down like you're going to do that inchworm we just talked about, okay? But you're only going to walk out a little ways. You're going to take about two steps out. I'm going to show you from the side. I have about that much of an angle, okay? When you do this, you're going to take that angle and you're going to do a push up from here. So your arms go down, arms go up, okay? Don't tip your head like this. Keep it down. I'm just looking at you guys so you know I'm talking to you. Again, I'm going to show you that one more time. Down, up, okay? I want you to do like five of those a day, twice a day if you can do it because that's really going to work those back muscles. These are super awesome for your arms and your back. And that is what everybody's looking at. I'm going to show you from the side just so you can see it. Arms are down and you are going down and up. If you guys got to bend your knees a little bit, that's totally fine. Down and up, okay? All right, y'all. I hope you're ready. We are doing the progression for that same exercise. So we started with the beginner. Get that down. You're going to do that second one. That's the one I want you to focus on. If you are really good and you are ready for this next one, I want you to do it. I want you to be very, very careful, okay? Maybe have a spotter the first time you try it, if this is the first time you're trying it. Find a wall, and basically what you're gonna do is crawl your feet up that wall, and you are gonna be upside down, and you're gonna do the push-up from there, okay? I'm gonna show you on this wall behind me. My face is gonna get really red because it does that. It's real hot outside. I'm from Duluth, and it's usually cold. It's like 80 degrees. You're not gonna put your wall. feet all the way against the wall. You're gonna stand out a little bit, okay? Bend down, you can bend your knees, and you're just gonna crawl right up the wall. I'm gonna kinda talk to you now. You're gonna crawl up the wall, and then I'm gonna do the push-ups, okay? You're probably not gonna be able to hear me because I'm gonna be upside down and backwards. So here we go. Crawling up the wall, and you don't have to go all the way up, you guys, because then you won't be able to get down. So I want you to keep that bend, and I want you to go down 
and up. Down and up. Down and up. And then carefully crawl back down. All right, you guys, you got your first focus for your first week. I'm so Good excited. For you. Good luck this week. Have a fantastic week, and I'm glad you started your Monday out right. Bye.